and uh, you know, where, where do you think your game is now, just as far as your, your development, now that you have a few games under your belt? Oh, it was very hard to sit out. Um, longer than a year, it was longer than 365 days. It was tough, but um, our coaches, they pushed me through it, and they taught me a lot. Um, as far as my game right now, um, it's, it's, uh, it's improved since my freshman year, for sure. Uh, being able to score consistently and uh, just play defense. You know, Coach, uh, he uh, tells me that I'm actually playing defense and playing harder. And, you know, like in high school, like, I didn't play defense at all. Like, I didn't, like, care about defense. I was just strictly offense. And, like, you know, Coach, he put it into my head, you know, if you don't play defense, you won't play here. So when I first got here, it was a reality check. And now, you know, like, it shows, like, when you play defense, you know, like, you're able to stay on the floor longer and impact the game on – both ends of the floor. When you were at A&M, was there not much as much of an emphasis on playing team defense? I don't think it was as an I don't. I think it was different. The, the team was different. You know, at A&M, we had 6'4", 6'3", 6'8", 6'8", 2'6", 10s, a 7-footer. Here, you know, it's like legend 7-foot, city 6'10", I'm 6'9", and, and it just, you know, it goes down after that. So um, I think it was more of um, the team differences. I, I would say that. What was the most frustrating thing, you know, just sitting aside and, you know, watching basketball and not being able to play in these games? What was the, take me through it, like, what was, what you felt like? It hurt. Um, it downed me a lot, you know, because I never saw myself transferring at all. So, you know, I would always think that I was, like, you know, failing myself, uh, letting a lot of people down. But, like I said, the coaches here, you know, they're really, like, they have a, a lot of support for me and you know they just talked me through it and they was like you know just look at it as a way of you're going to get better every day like you know we're going to make sure you're getting better and better and working on all your flaws so when your year is up and it's time for you to play you're ready to go right away and so far it's working out for me so I think um, being down was one um, not being able to help the team in the games that we lost like last year in Greenville teams that we were supposed to beat you know like we beat all the big teams and we know we kind of downed ourselves to the other teams. Not being able to help in those games, they really hurt me a lot. But um, I think scout team as well, uh, being on the scout team and like practicing and not being able to play, that was probably the biggest thing. That probably edged me the most. But like I said, again, you know, coaches, they, they helped me through it. So I'm playing now. I'm happy. So. What's the driving factor for you right now? Then? Okay, you, you, you're coming off home. So what's, what's, what's driving you right now? Um, this team, this success, you know, all the accolades is coming with us winning and um, playing here. You know, I feel like like I'm like in integrating myself into like the Clemson basketball culture. Um, my team, I have a really like family origin team. You know, like we all really care about each other. We hung out a lot during the off season, and you know, it's shown on the court. Like there was no way we were supposed to like come back against Wake Forest. We we had a slow start. We were playing bad. And, you know, we just gritted it out. Like, our, our preseason was about grit and growth. And, like, we showed our, grow, our growth and our grit. And um, I think that's it. Just uh, being a part of, like, this is just, like, you want to win. I hate losing with a passion. So anytime we can win and, you know, it comes with all these records we're breaking and whatnot, it's, it's a joy. So Is there any special excitement for you going up against North Carolina team? I'm sure you, you grew up watching. Almost oh, definitely, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of excitement. You know, they're they're a really good team. Um, you know, they're top top ranked in the country. I think top ten, I believe. Um, but it's just another game for us. We got to go out and we got to play them, and we got to win. So we got to defend our home turf. So you were able to sit and watch a lot last year. Obviously, is there anything you can pinpoint this year that gives this team that grit? I guess that you referenced, not just to come back when everything's going against you at Wake Forest, but kind of similarly at South Carolina too, um, mm -hmm. late in that game you were able to come back. I think um, we remember every game that we didn't win last year that we were like supposed to win. Um, yeah, that we were supposed to win. We remember all those games. Um, and, you know, we talk about it as a team in the locker room. You know, we're not going to like, that's not going to happen this year. We're not going to say at the end of the season, if we would have beat such and such and such and such, we wouldn't be in this position. Like, no, we're going to be in that position that we want to be in. So, you know, we always talk about those games. You know, like, those are the games that we should have won last year. Now we want to win every game. Like, our motto is that we're going to we're gonna play every team. We're going to play our hardest, and we're going to win. 
if we're down, we're going to fight through it because, like I said, nobody likes losing. Like, I'm, I feel like it's an attitude within the whole team that we're not going to lose. We hate losing, so we're going to do everything in our power to win. How does this team push itself to get better than uh, Eli? I mean, you're at this point right now, but you still got a lot of the season ahead of you. So where, what, are the, what are some of the things this team needs to do to even push it to a higher level? Um, Coach Brunel says this quote, it's, it's a process. Um, I believe learning from every game, uh, even the games we've won, there's a lot of mistakes we've made. And Coach B does a really great job in film. All the coaches do. They do a really good job in film, you know, in opposition meetings as well, um, teaching us the mistakes we made, you know, taking note of the mistakes we made and walking us through the mistakes we made in practice to where you can see it on film and then you go out and correct it to where, like, it's, it's in your head, it's instilled into your head that you're not going to make those mistakes. And I believe um, continuing to have that mental approach to correcting our mistakes will make our growth better and better throughout the year. How hard will it be to defend against Meeks and their great front court uh, and, and rebound and yet still stay out of foul trouble? Staying out of foul trouble is something I have to learn. Um, I believe um, if I just, you know, keep watching film and uh, learning from what Coach Winnex and Coach B and all the other coaches are telling me, we'll be perfectly fine. Anything else for you about today?